This is a demonstration for the titration of concentration and aluminum content in an aluminum etch bath. First thing we're going to do is take a 5 mil sample of our aluminum etch bath and we're going to put it into a clean beaker. Next, we're going to take and add approximately 100 mils of water. It's not uh, critical that you get an exact amount, but we just want some dilution in there so we can see our color change. Then we're going to add 6 to 8 drops of phenolphthalein indicator, and our solution is going to turn a nice bright pink color. We're going to titrate from pink to colorless using one normal hydrochloric acid. So we're going to add the hydrochloric acid slowly, swirling our sample until that pink color disappears. And what I usually do is add a little bit of hydrochloric acid, swirl, and stop so we don't go past our end point. just another drop or so and we'll see that our pink color disappeared. We're going to read our burette and record how many mils of the one normal hydrochloric acid we used and in this case we used 7.3 mils. So I'm going to just jot that down so we have it for when we're finished with our other next titration. First thing we want to do and it's the most common mistake that people make when they're titrating the second part of uh, this analysis is they forget to re-zero this burette. So what I'm going to do is refill my hydrochloric acid back to zero. Then I'm going to add 10 mils of a 10% potassium fluoride solution. And as you can see, the solution turns pink again. What we're going to do with our zeroed out burette is titrate once again until that pink color disappears. And as you can see in this case, uh, we used one and a half mils of hydrochloric acid. And what we're going to do to make sure that we've gotten completely to the end point is we're going to add another 10 mils of the potassium fluoride just to make sure the solution does not return to pink, which it does not. So we have our second end point and it's one and a half mils, 1.5 mils of the one normal hydrochloric acid. So our first end point was 7.3 mils. We're going to multiply that by 1.1 and that will equal our ounces per gallon concentration of etch. Then the second end point that we got, our one and a half mils, we're going to multiply that by 0 0.18 and that will give us ounces per gallon as dissolved aluminum as contamination in the bath. As your etch bath ages and as the aluminum content builds, most facilities uh, find it easier to keep the same activity level by increasing concentration as the aluminum content builds. So if you start with a 6 ounce per gallon etch bath and you build 2 ounces per gallon of dissolved aluminum, you may need to at that point run a 8 or 9 ounce per gallon bath to uh, achieve the same activity in that aged bath. And the instructions for all of this can be found on the technical data sheet for all of Heat Bath's aluminum etchant products.